Hello everybody, I'm Lily Rose and welcome back to a new video. With the arrival of fall, there is one very important decor piece that is finding its way back into our lives. Candles. And hey, I'm not complaining, I love candles. Lately you see more and more woodwick candles popping up, which besides being super stylish, make the most amazing fire crackling sound like your very own little fireplace. However, woodwick candles tend to be a tad more expensive, as if candle prices weren't crazy enough already, and they're harder to find, at least that I know of here in Europe. So the easiest is just to create your own. As the name says, the most important piece is the woodwick, which you can obviously buy if you want to, but again, that's more expensive, and guess what? You can actually make your own with some simple popsicle sticks. And nope, I'm not joking! Fancy expensive looking candles made from some cheap popsicle sticks. But before we get to the video, if it's your first time here on my channel, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos of me in the future and leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And now let's start! First of all, wood. You can find in many hobby and craft stores strips of balsa wood which I think is actually what they used in the store-bought woodwick candles, but I'm not 100% sure. But if you can't find it or you don't want to spend some extra bucks, guess what? I found a super cheap alternative. Popsicle sticks. Although now that I think of it, I don't really know what kind of wood is used in popsicle sticks. So there is a good chance it's actually balsa wood and I sound pretty dumb right now, but the point is they're easier to find and buy. Next up, we need oil. I use both olive oil and coconut oil because I wanted to see which one would work better, but in the end, they both worked equally great. Just use whatever you have available at home. If you're using coconut oil, we will need to melt it, so pop it into the microwave for some seconds. Now just drench the popsicle sticks in oil and let it sit for a minimum of one hour, or like I did overnight. I personally like to leave them for longer periods of time because in my head, I mean it's wood and oil, so it's like longer time means more absorption, if you know what I mean, but I mean I'm no expert. The next day, or well, a few hours later, take the sticks out and blot them dry. And your wood wicks are ready! Now get yourself a glass container for your candle. To be able to attach the wick to the container, trim one of the edges to make a straight line. Now get out your glue gun and glue the wood wick to the bottom of the container. If you have one of those wood wick base clips, this is even easier, but hot glue works just as fine. Now to make the actual candle, you will need some wax. I always like to collect any residual wax from candles that I've bought, which comes in pretty handy in situations like this because A, I don't have to buy new wax and B, it already comes scented. Melt the wax and pour it into the container. Now we need to trim the wick since wood wicks need to be rather short. In this case, I did it at the end, but for any future candles, I plan to cut them before I glue it into place. It just makes everything easier. And guess what? Your woodwick candle is done! By the way, if you're lighting it for the first time and it keeps going out, don't worry, it happened to me for one of them, just keep lighting it and after a while it starts burning normally. All the other candles worked from the get-go, so I think it was just something with this one. And oh my god, I'm so obsessed with these! I love, 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 love these candles. I can't tell you enough how much I love these. They're so pretty, so easy to make, 
and they give you the most amazing ambience you can ever ask for. I'm not even kidding. The sound it makes, the light it gives off, just beautiful. By the way, if you know what kind of wood is used in popsicle sticks, let me know in the comments below, because actually I'm quite curious now. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and I see you in next time. Bye.